Here we go, round one, night two. Let's get into it. Who's first up? The Fiend Bray Wyatt coming over to Monday nights. Thank God for that. Do you know what? Monday Night Raw is where The Fiend belongs, in my opinion. His whole colour scheme is red, uh, for Christ's sake. So, I'm not a fan of The Fiend on SmackDown. You know, everyone's going to be like, well, when's he going to win the title back? No, put him on Raw. I'm a big fan of that. Fiend's been moved over. Second pick, SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey uh, coming over to SmackDown, of course. Um... Oh no, where's Randy going? Raw! Randy Orton is on Raw. Thank God for that. I'm a massive fan of uh, Randy's work recently. I think, honestly, he is probably the best thing on Monday nights. So I'm glad that he's staying. It would have been a shame to uh, send him to SmackDown because that would have ruined uh, Hell in a Cell as well. If he went to SmackDown, it would have been clear that he's not winning. Oh! Oh, okay. hang on. Hang on. They've done it to the Street Profits as well. The New Day have come to Raw with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now, the Street Profits are going to SmackDown with the Raw Tag Belts. WWE, what is going on? Charlotte Flair. Okay, Charlotte Flair being drafted to Raw. Uh, I think that's a bit of a wasted pick, if you ask me, because she is injured. Uh, I would have let her, you know, go to being a free agent. There's not, like, Why does she need to be in the first round if she's not even here? Uh, are we going to get Becky drafted as well then? No. Like, do you know what I mean? So that is round one. Let's get into round two. Number two. Here we go. Round two. Night two. Braun Strowman, the monster among men, called it. Coming over to Monday Night Raw. The Monday Night Monster returns. Um, obviously, after the whole Fiend Roman situation, I think it's good for both the Fiend and uh, Bray to come over to uh, the Fiend and Bray. I mean, the Fiend and Braun to come over to Raw, so I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, Daniel Bryan stays on SmackDown. I really wanted to see him come over to Raw. Uh, you know, Bryan's been on SmackDown since 2016, so it, it would have been cool to see him on Raw, but nevertheless, uh, Daniel Bryan stays on SmackDown. You know, who's next? Oh, okay. My older brother, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Riddle is coming to Raw. Bro, I'm so I'm so happy. You know, you're on Monday nights now. Uh, we love my older brother, uh, as you lot seem to think he is. Matt Riddle uh, coming over to Raw. Uh, I wonder how much work uh, Seth had to do with that. And okay, Kevin Owens. Uh, Kevin Owens on SmackDown. I predicted that one as well. Uh, if you watch my fantasy uh, draft video, I said KO is going to SmackDown. Saw that one coming. Oh, yes! Yes! I thought SmackDown had this draft won, but Raw are getting a lot of stars, including Jeff Hardy. I'm very happy with that one, um, especially because I'm going to Raw Live uh, next year at some point. We don't know when it's going to be because of the whole, you know, um, virus. But hey-ho, that was round two. Let's get into round three. Okay, round number three. Who's Raw picking first? Retribution, Mustafa Ali's clan. Why? Why would you let them cause chaos on your show and then put them, draft them to your show? Oh, I don't get it. It's just that you can't really get around that. You know, they had to be drafted at some point. Retribution on Monday nights. Who's going to smack down? Lars Sullivan. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan. He's already in trouble. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. If I was in WWE, I would just fire him. Um, he's just a problem talent, and that's what we don't need in this day and age. Keith Lee, Keith Lee is coming to Monday nights to bask in his glory. Oh, yes, I'm a fan of that. Keith Lee, the limitless one. Um, do you know what? Part of me thinks maybe he should have gone to SmackDown the last few weeks. He hasn't been doing, a mu uh, doing much, but I want to see Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley, so I'm a fan of that. Oh, okay. Uh, King Corbin is going over to SmackDown. Uh, I thought he'd be coming to Raw, but I suppose SmackDown needs to keep some talent. You know, Raw's had quite a fair amount. Alexa Bliss coming over to Raw. Uh, I think that was a given, uh, knowing that The Fiend got drafted in round one. I'm sure Alexa Bliss and The Fiend are going to be doing things on Raw, and I am excited to see it. So Alexa's come over to Raw. Uh, is that it for uh, round three, or is there one more? No, that's it for round number three. Let's move on to number four. 
Okay, ladies and gents, here we go. Round number four of the draft, night two. Three, two one, with Elias has been drafted to Monday night's uh, walk with Elias. He's been injured since he got hit by a car by Jeff Hardy. Um, so, you know, Elias comes over to Raw. Uh, nice to see. Sami Zayn. Intercontinental Champion been drafted to SmackDown, so both his challengers have been drafted to Raw. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with Zayn um, now, because obviously Zayn and Sty uh, Styles and Hardy both come over. Uh, who's Zayn going to defend against? We will just have to wait and see. Lacey Evans uh, coming over to Raw. Okay, um, I, I like how they're switching up the divisions, uh, the women's division, but you know, um, I think at the moment Raw has the better division. We're just going to have to wait and see, see what else happens. Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura staying on SmackDown. SmackDown's tag division uh, is looking quite dry at the moment. I mean, the Street Profits have just gone over with the Raw tag belt. But, you know, it's, it's looking quite dry. Uh, so, you know, it's cool that they're staying. Sheamus, I predicted that one as well. Uh, Celtic Warrior Sheamus coming over to Raw. He hasn't done anything realistically of importance on SmackDown since January. So it's cool to see Sheamus coming over to Raw. Uh, however, I would have liked to seen him win his first IC Championship on SmackDown, but it's not meant to happen. Well, there you go. That was round four. Moving on. Okay, round five. Uh, we haven't got an announcement for round five, ladies and gentlemen, but it is Nikki Cross. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode moving from Raw to SmackDown. Okay, cool. We're getting another tag team. 24-7 uh, champion. Our truth has been put on Raw. Apollo Crews has gone to SmackDown. I don't know why. Uh, because, you know, he was doing great work on Raw. And he really didn't do anything on SmackDown last time. Uh, he's only got two hours to work with on SmackDown. So that's going to be annoying. And Dabba Kato from Raw Underground. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he needs to be booked like a monster. Because he's, you know, um, I... I I'm not really interested, so WWE, make me interested in Dabba Kato. Ziggler and Rude on SmackDown. I think that is probably the biggest pick, uh, if I'm honest, of the round five of the draft. Uh, but yeah, that was round five. Round six of the draft on Monday Night Raw. We got Titus O'Neil as the top dog this time. <laughs> Can someone tell me why? Um, but then Carmella on SmackDown, I, I had a feeling she was going to stay because of the whole vignettes. Peyton Royce on Raw, you know, she's a single star in the making, so do something with her. Alistair Black should have been uh, the top dog, but no, he's going to SmackDown. So it looks like the KO Alistair Black feud is continuing on SmackDown, but also Murphy is on SmackDown. And although we've seen them go at it before, Murphy was actually the one that blinded Alistair Black. So I wonder if we're going to see a continuation of that feud. And then finally, Akira Tozawa on Monday Night Raw. So that concludes round six of the draft.